Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to use the figure environment for positioning the figure and specifying caption. We shall then look at how one can include multiple images under one figure. In this topic, recall the table environment which was used for positioning the table, specifying captions, etc. The figure environment does the same. We begin with the begin figure environment followed by the position which is either H, B, T that is here, bottom or top. The include graphics command and the caption is written between the figure environment. The command list of figures generates list of figures and the page numbers. Let's see a demo. I'm switching to Tech Studio. I already have LaTeX code written that includes the original parrot image and the remaining two rotated by 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Now let's include the figure environment for all three images. So we come here and we write slash begin figure. We place it. We position it H and we write centering so that the figure appears in the center. We write our caption, we write original image and we place the include graphics command in between the centering and the caption command. Okay, let us build and run. There you go. The first image is captioned original image. Let us do the same for the other two. Let us copy begin figure. Let us come here and paste. Let us indent it and we come here and we end the figure environment. Okay, everything seems okay except the caption. So, we write caption and we say rotated by 90 degrees. We do the same for the third image. We paste the begin figure, we write the caption slash caption say rotated by 180 degrees and we end the figure environment and figure. Let us build and run. So, using the figure environment, each of the image has caption and a number. The second figure has number 2 rotated by 90 degrees and the third figure is rotated by 180 degrees. Now, let us generate list of figures. So, we go to the top and we write slash list of figures and let us add a page break. Build and run. Build and run again. So, we now have the list of figures. All three figures are mentioned along with their respective page numbers. So, using this command, one can know the number of images present in the document, what are they about and where are they located. Let us switch back to our slides. Usually, in thesis, project reports, etc., one can have complicated figures containing multiple images. For example, instead of including three images as three separate figures to show the parrot example, we could have these under one single figure itself. To accomplish this, one must include caption and sub caption packages. We write the figure environment which is followed by the sub figure environment. The width of the sub figure needs to be mentioned. Each sub figure has its own caption. Let us see a demo. Let us include the packages slash use package caption and slash use package sub caption. Let us come here and add a page break. Now, let us first create the figure environment. So, we write slash begin figure centering 
and we write caption slash caption image of a parrot. Now, we come here and we will add two sub figures. The syntax is slash begin sub figure and we specify the width. What should be the width? Let me add 0 0.45 of text width. Well, is this confusing? Okay. Here, the text width command denotes the width of the text on the page and 0 0.45 denotes that the sub figure would occupy a space which is little less than half of the text width. Seems okay now? All right, let us proceed ahead. We come here, we delete the content and we write slash centering to center the sub figure. We write our graphics command that is include graphics and we say width is equal to slash text width and the image file which is located under the images directory and has the name parrot.png and we add a caption called original image. So, this is our first sub figure called original image. Now, let us add another sub figure which will be rotated by 90 degrees. So, we will copy this we paste it just after the first sub figure that is here. Let us indent it for better readability. Okay. So, we have our first sub figure and we have our second sub figure. Let us add angle equal to 90 and we say rotated by 90 degrees. Okay. Let us build and run. Notice that we have two images under one figure, where both the sub figure and the main figure have captions. Now, let us add some space between the two images, so that they are equally spaced out. So, after the first sub figure, we come here and we write slash h fill. Let us build and run. Okay. Now, what if you want to include a third image under this figure as well? So, let us do it. Let us copy paste the sub figure and let us paste it here. Let us indent it for better readability. So, now we have the third figure. Let us build and run. Okay, that is good. The third image is also included here, but it is not aligned with the other two. Did any one of you realize whether change would be needed? Yes, absolutely, the change would be needed in mentioning the width of the sub figure. So, for each sub figure, we need to change to 0 0.3 of text width. So, instead of 0 0.5, we come here and we write slash 0 0.3 text width 0 0.3 and for the third sub figure as well 0 0.3. Let us build and run. There you go. This is how we include sub figures. Let us switch back to our slides. So, in this session, we explored the figure and sub figure environment. Thank you. Have a nice day.